During this video, we'll learn how to create a 2D sketch and turn it into a 3-dimensional block by making a C-frame often found in robots. First, start a new part and go to Options to make sure you are in the correct drafting standard. Also, set the units to millimeters. Don't forget that you can change the units from the bottom right corner as well. Because the cross-section of our C-channel is a tilted C, this will be our first sketch. To enter the sketch mode, click Sketch in the Sketch tab. Then select the desired plane, in our case the right plane. Notice that Sketch 1 has been added to the Feature Manager. An alternative is to right-click the right plane in the Feature Manager and select the first icon that says Sketch. Now select the Line tool from the Sketch tab. Click on the origin, drag the cursor towards the top of the screen, then click again. The sketch tool draws a line. Repeat the steps to draw two additional lines as follows. To deselect the line tool, right-click Select. It is very important that you fully define a sketch, which means that every entity in the sketch has a specific location and doesn't move. Everything that is underdefined is shown in blue and the sketch has a minus sign. You can restrict motion by using Relations and Dimensions. Select the Smart Dimension tool, click the left line and click to the side. Enter 25 mm and press Enter. You can see that the line turned from blue to black. Repeat the steps for the top line, then click OK from the left. Even though the line from the right has a specific location, its endpoint is still underdefined. Instead of typing the length like you did earlier, you can use a relation. Go to the Display Delete Relations drop-down and select Add Relation. Click on the two vertical lines and then you can select Equal from the available options. A shortcut to this is to hold the Control key down and select the two lines. Then select Equal and click OK. If you exit the sketch now, you can see that the minus sign disappeared. To go back to editing, right-click and select the first icon. Next, you can use the Offset tool to create the inner section of the C-frame. Click Offset Entities, then in the Parameter section, set the thickness to 3.17 mm. Click any line on the sketch and hit Reverse if necessary. Then click OK. Next, use the Line tool to connect the open ends, and your sketch is complete. Now you can convert the C-frame into a 3D part. The available tools are shown in the Features tab. Select Extruded Boss Base. Under Direction 1, you can choose an end condition. Select Mid Plane to give the part symmetry. Set the length of the extrude to 102 mm. Then click OK. If you want to change the value, right-click on Bus Extrude 1 and select the first icon. Notice that the sketch was absorbed as part of the feature. To modify the sketch itself, you can right-click it in the Feature Manager and select Edit Sketch. But an easier way is to double-click the feature, double-click the dimension, modify it and hit the Rebuild button at the top of the screen. Hold the control button down and press Z to undo the last action. The C-frame requires rounded edges which you can create using the Fillet tool. Select Fillet from the Features tab and type 6.35 mm for the radius. To specify the corners that should be rounded, select them, then click on the green check mark to finalize the feature. In this lesson, you learn how to create a C-channel using sketch relations and extrude tools available in SOLIDWORKS. In the next video, we will also use the Extrude Cut feature to take away material.